Welcome back to SOS. I'm Sasser Bass. When we do the uh, self-defense videos, we don't do music for this because we kind of have to take this serious. So, uh, in situations where there's defense, there's also offense. There's offense and defense together. They work together. You might get in a jam and you've got to get yourself out of it. But a lot of this stuff is practice. Now, and well, I guess before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and let them know. We're still doing the podcast if you're watching this. Uh, but yeah, so you have to practice often. And uh, before you add questions or anything on there, uh, the comments below, be sure to check out the other videos. That we probably already did that video and we probably already covered it. So we're just kind of moving on from there uh, for those of you that enjoy this type of stuff. All right. Now, when we practice, we uh, we do something that's pretty common, and it's it's more. Uh, we'll explain in a minute. But see, we do this for our reflex, for reflexes, for grabbing, for catching, and things like that. Uh, but it's more like you want, you go low first. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two you back like that. <laughs> but, anyway, but you see what that does is is when for some reason if someone catches me off guard and uh, they come from this angle here, a, a lot of this goes into Krav Maga, and then uh, some of this stuff goes into judo and and all this other stuff. But uh, for example, if if someone catches me off guard and they're coming in from the side, and for whatever reason, I've already got I've already got my hands ready to go. So they come in, I can, I can block like this, come in, you twist, and then just rotate, all right? So that's, that goes into karate. That was, that was from karate. Uh, but I, I kind of mix these up because I, I've been in so many different uh, styles. But, for example, they come from the side. Another angle you could attack from is, boom, just like that. Grab the arm and then just come back and then straight to the throat. Or you can... Pull them into your elbow, just like that. Boom, like that. I don't mean to do all this damaging stuff to you. You should be doing this stuff to me. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Okay, so it's like I said. There's there's offense and defense. It it, it all works together. It, it even reverses sometimes. You sometimes you can catch yourself in a jam. Well, and you said, and when you do that, you're deadening your nerves. That's, well, numbing your nerves. You're numbing your nerves. Deadening. That was the other thing I forgot to mention was if you're practicing this stuff, just real quick, we'll mm -hmm. do it one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So when we're doing that, you're striking here, and then you're striking right along in here. You're killing all these nerves. Now, we also do the legs, too. Just a stand in this normal stance, and then boom, like this. When I strike here, mm -hmm. and then I strike here, you're basically numbing this section here. You've it, got nerves that run through here. It hurts the first time. Like I was getting kind of teary-eyed because I was never used to anybody hitting me there. But now I can take a good beat and, and it won't phase me. And then strikes to the inner thigh is another one that you need to do. But strikes to the inner thighs, strikes here, and then strikes along here. And uh, there's there's other for for lower ends and stuff like that. But all these different things. So when you're in a fight, the biggest thing is like when an opponent runs out of breath, right? You know, a larger opponent is going to take a lot more oxygen than a smaller opponent. A sippy cup, for example, could probably be a lot swifter and probably last a lot longer than someone of my size. I'm probably going to get a little bit more out of breath trying to wrestle you around versus, you know, the other way around. If you had another opponent of the same size, that fight would probably go on for a while. Yeah. So, it's stuff to consider, okay? It's stuff to think about. And the strikes, once again, like I said, if you're numb to that pain, for example, I, I had, a, I had a, a, a person want to uh, test skills and things like that with me, and uh, it kind of went bad. It went south with them. They were, they were messing around, they were thinking it wasn't that big of a deal, and I had a smile on my face, I just gave them a quick strike, and uh, instantly they uh, said, 
look, this isn't for me. This hurts really bad, and uh, and I'm I'm still just it no. didn't okay. didn't affect me. Now, uh, but that was just straight because we practice this numbing technique a lot. That's the reason why it doesn't affect us as much. But yeah, that helps with the guards. And the other thing, this is just kind of adding to uh, adding to our videos. So, like we were saying before, mm -hmm. if someone came in and they, you know, the people always get this movie scenario, right? Where the, you know the attacker comes in, he's like, "You mf'er," swings. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you know they do the swing. And then um, it, it's just supposed to, like, you, you, you either, you, you grab the wrist and all kinds of stuff and do crazy stuff. But um, for a larger attacker with Sippy, she's going to have to use both arms. Yes. So she's going to, she's automatically pops to, boom, and blocks, right? Mm -hmm. Now when she, when she blocks that, she can go ahead and do different things. She can do this technique. It's like an arm bar. Mm -hmm. She can do that technique or reverse back. Go back to where you were. All right. Uh, grab the wrist. And then now you have to use both hands, remember? Yeah, I gotta grab because I got to That's the other hands. thing. We've got to explain this because yeah. she's she's smaller, so she's got to explain this. Boom. Both wrists. And just like this, and you can come around and then tuck in and swing over. But now that's for the throw. We'll get back to that in a minute. But. <clears throat> For a situation where you didn't grab the wrist, I just want to explain that before we do the throw. All right. So if someone comes in, you boom, you slam it, right? You know, mm -hmm. you just like get off me, boom, like that. Now what happens to my body? Do you see that? Watch what happens to me when she hits me like that. Get over here. See what happens? I instantly tilt back like this. Mm -hmm. Now what could Sippy do in a follow up? I can probably use my palm and just like that, like that, or I can punch. Punch. Like now she's going to use a karate punch. It's the two knuckles right here. Okay. Now when she she just rotates that fist and drives it in. <laughs> Good job blocking that. <laughs> Good job. All right. I'm catching you off guard. Here we go. But you're on it. You're on it. You're yeah. good. All right. So I'm winding up. <laughs> I'm tensing up. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. So normal strike. You. You scratched my car! Boom! Just like that, right? That was a little See, off. See, you were a little off, but that's fine. Now, where she's trying to strike me, well, she usually hits me right here, mm -hmm. okay? Right here. Sternum. And what... If you strike someone in the sternum, it's... It could either... Uh, it's going to knock the wind out of them, it's going to hurt really bad, or it could kill them. Yeah, you got a little xiphoid process bones, like that big, you'll probably break that off. That won't feel good. It won't feel good. You're going to be in a lot of pain. And uh, you're not going to want to fly anymore. And you might be out of breath for a while. But But the point you brought up that was good because I was thinking I'd like to smash you in, in the, the neck. face. But. You were thinking face shot when we were practicing before. Mm -hmm. You were thinking face shot. You know, pow, right in the nose. Yeah. But you're not going to be able to pull that off because mm -hmm. it's not like the movies. All right. Right. So once again, you scratch my car. Yep. Boom! Just like that, yeah, and then I back. tilt back. I'm not going to be able to. But now really she is through. at the right angle. Boom! Boom. All right, real quick, just do the whole move. Okay. Boom! Just like that. All right. Now if she delivers it right. I don't want to hurt. Ah, <laughs> so I'm not doing it too. Hard. I'm going to fly across the room. Okay. I'm going to fly across the room if it happens. But that's one thing to keep in mind. That was just a. It goes with a um, a uh, defensive stance when it comes to an attacker straight on, but then if a situation arises where for some reason you kind of had a brain fart, okay? Now every move leads to another move, okay? I, I, this is where this gets gets into moves lead to other moves, right. and your offense and defense become crossed. Okay, so the punch comes up, you reach and grab the wrist. Well. Okay. How about I throw the punch and you... Okay. okay, okay, okay. Alright, so you're throwing the punch. Mm -hmm. Alright, boom. Now, I can grab the wrist one-handed because you're a smaller opponent. That's something else I need to explain. Yeah. I'm the larger opponent. I only need one hand to do this, whereas she would need two. So now, I can rotate and do judo. Now, rotate and do judo, I can do this, yeah. so that flip, and if I do it fast enough, there's a difference in doing it slow and doing it fast. Now, if I whip 
and do it fast, she's going to fly. She's going to fly backwards. So this instant, do it one more time. Like that. She's going to go flying. I'm going to send her across the room. So that's just one more thing. It's like, it's like, you got to play the role. Oh, well, come on, let's go, bro. No, 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 no. You got to do like, dude, you scratched my car, bro. Uh -huh. All right. You scratched my car. Scratched my car, bro. Boom. Ugh. Like that, right? I'm not going to send her flying across the room. All right. But that's how that works. All you do when you do a technique like that is you, you grab and you just hold tight. You got to squeeze. But you got to get used to grabbing and grab and hold, right? You can't, you can't, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a handshake. This gets on my nerves every single time. Give me a handshake. D do your normal handshake, the one that you've been doing. Do it like that. She does that to me, right? So you're supposed to do a handshake like this. Like that. That's right. That's a, that's a firm handshake right there. That's what it looks like. All right, it drives me nuts and so it gives me a lip handshake. But anyways, it's just like giving a handshake, right? Do it one more time. Do what? The, pit, oh, the fist. The fist. No, I scratched your car. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh, scratched the car. Like that, and then I grab. Now, notice how the impact, you could hear me hit it. Yep. It was it was like a pat. But instantly, boom, just like that. Now, I can do another move from this. Like, a, like we were talking about before, how that can lead into something else. What if I don't want to use judo, I want to use another technique. Alright, so once again, I scratch your car. Am I going or are you No. Going? No, you go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show the other way. Okay, good. The, the throw. Yeah. But I'm not going to throw you. Good. Alright. All right. All right. So instead of doing this, it's like this. You come in, but you got to be fast. Mm -hmm. You've got to swing in just like this. You can't sit. You can't go slow because if you go slow, it goes bad. Now, watch what happens if it goes slow. Okay, so boom, and then I'm trying to see what happens. That that could have happened. That could have happened. But now show them the choke. So I'm trying to do this, and then you overpower me, right? Right. So now I'm getting choked. What if you're choking me with this arm? See so like that? Because this arm's already out. Now what do I do? What can you do? You roll out. So I roll this way. Yep. Just like that. Now I can either roll out like this, or I can reach down like this, if it's male, you go boom, to the groin, boom, just, just keep hitting, right, Grab or grab the groin, or you can grab their pants right here, take a step behind their foot, and then just lift, right, and toss them backwards, but well, I kind of show them all that, that kind of covers that part. Your yeah. offensive and defensive lines gets crossed. I was going to have you do it, but that's fine. It still shows them. Mm-hmm. Because things aren't smooth like the movies. So no. If you end up tripping and you lose your... But, momentum. for example, show them real quick with... Turn around real quick. So, say someone comes up behind her from the car. She's trying mm -hmm. to put her key in the car, right? She's trying to get the door. You know, she's fumbling around, dropping oh, her keys. Oh, man, I dropped my keys. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so... <laughs> Someone comes up behind you and grabs you like this, you can spin out of it, just like that, but you did the right thing, you did the elbow, right? Right. See how she did that? She used her elbow. <laughs> Boom, just like that. She hit me right here. Now, there's another technique where she can use her elbow and drive it into my side. So, a person's behind them, so if this, I'm just saying if the move goes wrong. Right. So, if she's got me up like this. She's pulled me over and she's getting ready to throw me and I decided to start choking her. Well, she's already, she's already got her hands here protecting her airway so she's not getting choked out. She's not going to pass out. It's not a blood choke. It's not an air choke. So she's going to be okay. There's plenty of room there. She's got space to keep me from choking her. Right. So she can, don't spin out, don't spin out, but okay. I'm going to say it. She could spin out if she wanted to. All she's got to do is rotate out. And she can leave. Or she can keep her hand here, keep me where she wants me, mm -hmm. and she can bring this arm free. Groin shot. No, you don't trust me free hand. Bring it around huh? here. <laughs> See how she has her hand here? She's still holding me back. She could groin shot like this, or she could reach back and grab my pants and throw me backwards. Or 
uh, she could do a step behind like that and then take her, her elbow and drive it into me like this, right? I don't want to fall on the ground, okay? All right, but anyways, she could drive that elbow into me like this. So that's the offensive and defenses of those moves, and I just wanted to share that part. But what if your attacker got you on the ground? Because about 80%, you end up on the ground every single fight. Now, what if? All right, we'll bring you down here so we can show you a couple of things. Okay, so now if the opponent ends up on the ground, we've done ground fighting before in some of the other videos. This is just one thing, because I kind of went on about arm bars and how uh, ineffective it is kind of to try to go straight for an arm bar. I would not try to get into stuff that could complicate things. This is your life. Like I said, I, I don't do... Uh, <laughs> there's no tapping out in my fight, okay? They're trying to kill you. You kill them back. You return the favor, right? All right, so say she's getting choked, right? Now, there's, she could human rocket out of this thing. The human rocket's where she launches up. All right, real All right. quick, do the human rocket. Now, when she does the human rocket, that leads to the rotation around the arm, and we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, I want to show them, I want to kind of show them how to break down uh, an attacker that's trying to choke you or is on top of you. Super strength. And Super I can't strength. Power through it. You can't power through it. Say they're heavy and they're strong. All right, so they're choking, right? And she needs to bust out, so she's going to go straight for right about here and just start striking. But she can strike both ends, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead. No, nope. go go from. Remember, remember the inside will work, but you got to you got to bring more force. So you're going to have to come out. Okay. Boom, just like that. See how she broke it down? Now, she can break this down to the point that I end up falling. I'll lose my I'll lose my balance, and I'll fall forward. And at that point, she could headbutt me. Or rip your ear off with my teeth. You could, Mike Tyson. Depending how you land. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> in an event like this, you break it down like this. All right, break one side. Yep. Remember, we break one side, and you bring it like this. Then you bring this arm up through... Remember this? Remember this right here? I know it gets confusing, but like this, mm -hmm. and it rotates around. Now you can rotate either way. Yeah. All right. So show them the push, like this. See how it happens? See, all she did was drive down here, and then she shot up through here, and it rotates. Right in the armpit. That's one way of doing it. Now the other technique that most people don't think about is, <clears throat> say the attackers. For example, the attacker's like this, and you bust out, wrap the arm and leg, toss. Now you're on top, all right? Let me, let's scoot over. All right, let's scoot over. Okay, there we go. Now, now she's on top, and she's trying to figure out where to go from here. Mm -hmm. All right, what if your hands hurt? There are people out there, they, they end up striking the wrong section of their hand, and their hands hurt. Well, they can hammer fist. It's like this, right? It's just like stabbing, right? Like, boom, boom. Now, so all she does is deliver a double strike to the temples, right? Boom, like this. Go ahead. Don't, don't hit me real hard. You know the drill. Boom, like that. But she slams it, right? It's going to cause a knockout. They're going to get dizzy. Uh, massive headache, all kinds of stuff. All right, so double tap the temples. But what if that didn't do it? Yeah, my arms. You just keep. I can't reach. You know what I mean? You just keep. Well, I'm just saying. What if you just keep drilling them? Yep. And it's not working. You can always go here. No matter if they're extremely fat, doesn't matter. No offense, but uh, you can you can drive it right here in the sternum, and uh, and you could do the same damage just from right here. But what if you can't punch? What if you can't hammer fist? You can use, you just gotta practice using your elbows. Driving the elbow in, boom. And just driving them in, boom, boom, boom. That's one way of doing it. Just like that. But you just drive them home like a hammer. I think that about covers that. But you gotta get off of them quick. Mm -hmm. There's a technique for that too. You, you, when you, when you, you double strike, and then you slip one leg back. You don't, you don't have to just get up straight off the bat. 
but basically you drive one here, you step back, here you get down real quick. You show it. I'll show it real quick. When you're trying to get off of somebody and you ended up on the floor and you're on top of them and you want to get back, it's bam, 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 and then step back. And as you step back with this one leg, drive one to the inner thigh, boom, just like that. Then step back, keep your knee on their leg and your hand on their other leg. And as you get up, boom, just like that. And you gotta push off of them. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have to point you down a little bit lower because I need you to be able to see, I need you to be able to see what we're doing here. Okay. Now, to keep from getting out of breath, all right, you're going to see people in fights, whether it's swinging, you know, back and forth, you know, trying to punch. Well, mix it up, you know, using your hands the whole time, trying to deliver punches, you know, when you can block and then kick, see what I mean? Boom, boom. Doesn't matter how it goes. Either way, either way. Go for the legs, go for the shins, go for the crotch. Use your legs, don't just use your hands. There's so much more stuff you can do. If you mix that up, you're going to be more likely to survive or keep fighting a lot longer if you just use your legs. If you haven't started incorporating your legs, you really need to. You really got to do it. So. I'm bad about that. I got to keep doing that. Well, I threw, I, I threw sippy cup off. A couple weeks ago when we were doing, mm -hmm. uh, we were sparring and I threw my leg. He shin kicked me. <laughs> I just shin kicked I her. I stood there like. I shin kicked her and uh, that stopped the fight. Ow. Because it was kind of, it was kind of threw her off because she wasn't used to, she was used to us doing hands. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, boom, right in the knee. And then it's, I did the whole scrape down her shin. And as soon as I did that. Yeah, that was fun. It was, man, my leg hurts now and she's backing off, you know. But it's just one thing, you gotta incorporate legs into this stuff. That's about all I got today. I just yeah. wanted to throw in some more stuff, kind of like we talk about on a day to day basis. But there's so much to it. Alright. Watch this with us. I'm Southern Bass. Here we go. Have a beautiful, fabulous day. And take it easy.